Today we're going to be talking about how to edit the submit comment button on the comment section on WordPress using the DV theme. Okay, so here's what we're planning to do. In the uh, uh, blog uh, post page, here we can see the comment section, submit comment button here. So this is the default uh, submit comment button on DV. And what we're aiming to do for this example is here. So you can see that the button has a blue background, darker blue. And when you hover your mouse, it will be lighter. And also from here, the text is actually uh, from this bigger. And from here, this is smaller. And also the, the text is uppercase. And so we can do that by uh, simple CSS. And so let's let's get to it. So we go to the, oh wait, we go to the dashboard first. And we go to DV, theme customizer. That was where we were earlier. And then we go to additional CSS right here. Here, so you can see you can add a code above or at the bottom. For me, I prefer to add it at the bottom. And also, I already have the code uh, copied, so I can just paste that here. But first, since we from the right side of the of the page, we can have the uh, live update of it. So the real time update. So here. Here, right and then here on the left i'm gonna paste the code here and you can see it already changed right away and then from here you can see that the the background color is here the font size so uh, some of them are pretty self-explanatory and the text transform is actually the uppercase one and also the padding and then uh the border radius border width actually there's so many of uh, so many css properties out there that it's best to go to uh w3 schools w3 w3 schools.com so right here and for example here right the border radius so we can just search that here border radius search that the css border radius property here so it's actually this is actually a good way to uh, to understand uh, uh, how how to use these uh, properties and then What's also a, a good thing to uh, to know about is the class here, dot form, hyphen submit, and space dot et underscore pb button. So how did we get that right uh, here? So we go back to the original one, and then we go right click this, inspect. It's actually a very powerful tool by Google, and so you can see here, right here. So we're we're highlighting the submit comment. So we're not going to do that because that's the comment form in the, the website. But here is the button. You can see right here this one so whenever you hover your mouse over it you can see that the submit comment button here is actually highlighted too so that's why we use this uh css uh, CS, the, this class to target this and that's why we put it here and then, so we just target that and also since uh these are um it's a bit more uh, I, I, I hope it's uh, understandable now and also the down here is the hover so whenever you change something in here it will affect the hover for example let's see here the background color right so when you hover there you can see that the that the is lighter blue right and then let's see let's change this here to like red so ff for me i just memorized the color four and then okay and you can see here when i when i uh, hover it's the red now and then here so for example let's uh, change the font size to uh, 18. So you can see it's pretty small at 18. And then when you hover again, it becomes smaller because the because the hover is uh, the font size for the hover is 12 px. So if you want to make it the same, you can make it the same to 18. So now hover is all the same. And then the text transform, you can even do this. So maybe the uppercase, lowercase, right here. Yep. See right? And here it changed already. So again because we didn't change the hover, the hover settings down here, the text transform. So when you hover, it will be the, it will be a uppercase. And uh, yeah, so these are, these are the basics of it and you can play around with it. You can search uh, W3 schools for more properties that you might have. For example, maybe you, um, you wanna, you want to uh, have a shadow, a text shadow. You can uh, search that for, uh, uh, from uh, W3 schools. So maybe text shadow text shadow property and then here so you could just add that into the into the uh, CSS here so maybe let's say even this one if you want that effect you can just add this here 
and uh, yeah so that should be about it and for of course of course you want to uh, make sure that we publish this so just click that and that should be done so uh, yeah that's it and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask and feel free to leave a comment and if you like the video i hope it's understandable i'm not sure if i'm talking too fast but uh yeah i hope it helps and uh, please like comment or subscribe and subscribe so uh yeah thank you